Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be working in the library. We're going to try to finish putting these three walls together and tightening it up a little bit more in here. We're not going to do it 100% because we're actually going to be moving the chimney over about a foot this summer. So we have a straight shot with the flue going up. And at that time, we'll finish off all this up here. So as soon as we finish this up, then we're going to turn you guys around and we're going to do the east facing wall and get that done. And then all we have to do is wait for our stuff to come in to do the drawers. And we're golden. This, this will be pretty much done upstairs except for a few little things. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So instead of trekking back and forth to the barn, I decided to bring my cutting table over here. Well, my improvised cutting table. Them with a barrel. I've done this so I get a chip on the right here. Three inches offset. I do have my numbers right here. I'm pretty sure that should be right. Yes, it is. All right. All right, keep clear. I know some people are saying, what the heck are you using a router for, Rob? Well, if I use a table saw, which my table saw is not working right now, or like a jigsaw, it's going to make a mess. At least with the router, I get a nice, clean, crisp line. All right, so our next item, I forbid, was 19 and a quarter. Right? Yep. So we'll come here. All right, so let's find 19 and a quarter. It's right there. I'm going to do our three inch offset. So it should be right about there, but we'll leave it right there for a second. Hi guys. Due to how hard it is to get stuff up here, we try to optimize every sheet of plywood that we get up here. And mind you, this is just five millimeter underlayment, but it works perfect for what we're using it for the walls and the ceiling. So we got a couple pieces cut. Let's get it upstairs real quick. plywood is so thin I'm just using a brad nail to put it up I'm putting a bunch of nails in it but it's working out perfectly I put 
put it on the bottom down there? Yes. And I'll make some kind of trim for it later. It'll have molding and that'll be fine. Now on this wall, I did not nail it in super heavy because I want to be able to pop those panels off. And thanks to the brad nails, I can. Because there's a few more things I need to do behind the walls there. I need to run some more wiring and a few other things. You'll see that later on in a future video. I think that section up there will wait until we actually finish off doing the roof here when we move the flue pipe. So that can wait, but we're going to try to get this piece here done. And we're also going to start on the east wall. So hang with us. All right, so what I'm doing now is I've got to mark out my power outlet box. So I'm going to go from the line I made right there to the center. It's 30 inches. So as soon as Sarah comes back with a pencil, we're going to mark 30 inches down on this one here, and we'll make our box. Wow. All right, well, that wall is up.
All right, guys, here is the final product. Well, somewhat final. As final as it's gonna be for right now. We did get all the battens all the way up. In time, I'm gonna add a beam going down to sit between both sets of battens. And I'm probably gonna put like a little outlet. The old style white ones you used to see in houses. And I found a place where I can get the ceiling fans that are 40 watt that'll go right there. So it gives a little bit of air circulation in here. And we'll be here, as I said before, we got her slides in. She's actually getting two sets of six, so she's got 12 drawers. So we're probably gonna do three sets of four. One, two, three of four sets. And then the other six we have will go on my side over here. Once I get my area done, I'm actually gonna build a small little building for mine. Then she can have both sets of drawers. Again, ignore the mess. She's got all her art stuff here now, which I'm happy about, because now she can start doing her art. And on this end here, this area will not get finished until after the chimney's been moved. And then I have to finish framing it up there and tucking the fabric in and then figuring out how to do the transition over here. And then this area here is gonna get live edge bookshelves, pretty much from the floor to the ceiling. And it'll go down to about where the chimney pipe is now. And then once that's done, all our books can be organized because we're double stacked in places, triple stacked in places and we want to get them all out anyways that's it for now i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget every monday night we have our live starting at four and we are followed by adam and phyllis at alaska cut the cord at 5 45 p.m y'all have a great day and we'll see you on the next video bye